Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry, the creator of the One Stroke Painting Technique, and I'm thrilled to have you join me for my Christmas series on all sorts of beautiful painting for your home and for gift giving. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get painting on our ornament. I want you to see, this is the ornament that we're doing. And I, I like to hold it so you can see all the different colors and the different greenery. And this is a great ornament to do this because it's um, flat. And then I want you to see how pretty the same design I'm going to teach you how pretty it looks on um, a canvas. So you can decorate all your Christmas decor just like this by one simple project. So this is what I'm going to show you. I've got multi-surface paint. And what's great about the multi-surface paint is that it goes on all these different surfaces and it's glass, ceramic, metal, um, canvas, wood, all these different projects. So I think that you'll like that part of it. And what we're going to do is start out with our greenery. So I have gotten uh, the pink melon, berry wine, daffodil yellow, citrus green, sap green, aqua, and our white. I'm also using glass brushes. Okay, so we have different glass brushes. Um, and I have a couple of other brushes because I want to show you an angle brush and how fun that is. And I don't have that in glass. So the first thing I want to start with is showing you how fun this angle brush is. So we're going to take and I'm going to put the light green on the toe of the brush and the dark green on the heel of the brush. And we're going to go back and forth. And what's great about this is we're going to load this totally, totally up. And we can even dot a little bit of white and get a lighter color. All right. Now I'm going to make this uh, wreath that goes around. Now I showed you on the canvas how good it looks. But I'm going to show you on here that clear looks good too. Because look, if I do the pine needles, all I have to do is just pull the toe, the point. And what's going to happen as I'm doing that is that I'm going to get these pretty little pine needles. All right. Now white shows up really good. So let me show you that I can also pull back. Let me get a little bit more white. We're going to pull back and do another fun little evergreen uh, bow right there. And so if I want this, this right here to have some dark in it, I can come back. See how good that looks with the light green and the dark green. All right. Now I'm going to turn it around and have a little bit crossover in front here. So you, as you can see, I'm going from dark green to light green. All right. And we're going to go all the way around. I want your ornaments to be fast and fun. So I'm going to have or a few ornaments for you to learn during the season. And you could decorate, decorate your packages, decorate your home with the pretty decor of all kinds. Just like I've shown you um, how I put it on the canvas. And you choose the colors you want. I wanted some aqua. I want it to look how pretty the white stands out. Okay. And now let me show you some aqua in here. I took the same brush, picked up aqua. I can put some pine needles out of aqua. Some going off the edge here. I can also touch and pull. Look, touch, lift, touch, lift, touch, lift. Isn't that fun? I think the aqua and the light greens make really pretty. I can also come in here and do a really quick leaf with this angle brush. Isn't that fun? All right. So before I go any further, I'm going to take aqua and light green and show you how pretty the leaf is. Look at this. I'm going to take and go one, two, three, slide. And there you go. All right, now I'm going to come in with some other colors in here, but see, I'm not even cleaning that brush. I'm just picking up pretty colors in here. 
and adding them. All right, so let's put our poinsettia in and you will be surprised how quick and easy. Now I'm gonna put this down and tilt it a little bit so I hope you get a better color of this. All right, so I'm gonna take and this is my 10 flat and I'm gonna make a petal that goes out and slides back and I'm kind of laying this color on here, all right? Now this poinsettia has five petals that come out. See how I'm laying the color? Now look what happens here. I'm gonna pick up the peach and this is pink melon. And we're gonna come up there and back. All right, we're gonna wiggle it out and back. Now look how pretty. Now you can lay that right on glass and people think that they have to do extra coats, but look, if you lay enough paint on here, it will hold up well and will not, will not come off and you don't have to worry about washing them because most of all they do is get dust in them uh, on your ornaments. I'm gonna put a little bit of color up in here a little bit in here. Look how pretty that is with the aqua all mixed in. A little bit over here. All right. And the one thing I did to finish this off, I'm going to wash this off. Come in here. Now check out my angle brushes. I have a set of three. You'll love them. They're going to make the center of your cabbage rose good. They're going to make all sorts of painting easier for you. Now look how pretty those vivid colors are. Now all I have to do is come in here and dot the, I got a little small brush here. I'm going to dot some yellow, just little dots. And I can put dark green in there if I want to. But what I want you to see is that I went around and I put little dots and I have dauber, um, dot little dot handles that make eight different sizes and of course I don't have it right here in front of me but I want you to see that adding these little dots make a really pretty accent on here so we have more to come so be watching I'm going to come out with a couple ornaments a week until the holidays just to inspire you oh there we go how fun is that now look at what you can turn it into you can do the same exact thing and do it right here on our canvas or your ornament and have a good time during this holiday. Thank you. Thanks for watching this project and I hope you get to watch these other two that I've also been doing for you guys. I hope you subscribe and I hope you enjoy my Christmas series and the best way to do it is for you to realize that you're one stroke away from being an artist.